Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, we're watching a lot of cutscenes. Also, my shirt has a duck on it. Bet you can't guess which one. <laughs> it was Donald Duck the whole time. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, let's play some billiards. Billiards. What do you play? Billiards. The balls. Give me them. Billiards, huh? Yeah. You can fight your teammates and gain a random stat. If you're following this as a guide, the stat doesn't matter. Just get it. Don't ask do questions. Do? do as I say, Thank not you. say as I freak. I have to know. Whatever. It's called the homies over. Hey guys, I know we just played here yesterday, but we didn't play this other game. Want to try it out? I don't know why this loading screen is so long. It's literally the longest. It, I've timed it. You look pretty spiffy when you're holding a cue stick. Oh, stop it. No kidding. He's got the aura of a pro. Have you played somewhere before? You, do you seem to know some unexpected stuff? <laughs> no, I'm actually entirely new to this. <laughs> what a tease. I think we're in for a good show. Uh, I'ma try, y'all. I'm not good, but... I'm getting pumped. All right, let's get started. Uh, how do we play this game? I'm just gonna start hitting <laughs> stuff. This intensity right before the game starts. Ugh, I love it. Hmm. Yay. I did something? Pretty sure. <laughs> that was fun, huh? Even if you don't win, it's fun just to sink the balls into the pockets. Yeah. Glad to see everyone had fun. I gotta say, though. Wow. Hmm. Thanks to this game of pool, I think you've learned more about making bold decisions. Boy, I don't... That's... Honest to God, what is the worst explanation for our stats increasing? That's gotta that be up there. So much fun. That was fun. You gotta invite me again sometime. Please. I don't have a lot of friends. Hey there. Sorry to interrupt your fun. Hey, what's up? Billiards has a lot of intricacies, don't it? I'm glad you take a liking to the game. If you'd like to learn more about it, there's a book I recommend reading. I'm not the author or anything. It's, it's called Expert Billiards. It covers everything from the basics to practical applications. The only problem is it's quite a rare book. You might have some difficulties finding it. You might have a chance of getting it at a specialty shop that sells sports supplies, as opposed to an ordinary bookstore. Um, okay. Oops, I didn't mean to hold you right as you're leaving. Please do come again. I see. Well, that was really random. <gasps> Maybe we should look for the book. I, I guess. See you later. Until we meet again. That is really odd. Only. Did, did you write the book? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> Anyways, it's the last day of our field trip. Mr. Akechi's coming on! Ah! It's Akechi! Oh, coming. he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now... On to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, We've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detective? Ah, oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. 
However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do! About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. All right. Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? You say that with such firmness. This completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, Kechikun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the Thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, Advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. All they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe, if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Thank you. That's great news. 
I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. Registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. I'm just breathing the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. And so ends our monthly fuel trip, which kind of sucked. What a boring trip. We didn't even find any worthwhile targets. At least we gotta ride the roller coaster, right? Not a catchy. Ugh, thinking about what he says just ticking me off again. He clearly tried to discredit everything we're doing. He just had to say it on live TV, too. Don't be so sour. Noah, without a doubt, people we have saved. Those people could not have been saved if not for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. True. I'm living proof of that. Ah, what a nice thing to say. <laughs> he went 180 there. Still, was what well, Ketchy said actually wrong? I feel like he had a point. Why you gotta bring that up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Mm, does it seem a little selfish? We are the Phantom Thieves, On. I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Madarame. Yet, I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kamoshida too. We weren't gonna do crap to him through any kind of normal methods. Yeah. That's true, but... What do you think? Are we being selfish? <sighs> Honestly, no. Because, just because the current laws don't have a way to punish these people, we do. If we don't act, more people are going to get hurt. Come on. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Guys, I'm being serious here. Wait, I was being serious? What? I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice and not that of the law. Right. Shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, let's hope that's the case. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing that up. Don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the Phantom Thieves or anything. Just you watch, Ketchy. Someday, you're gonna totally see who was right! Okay, let's stop talking about this now, please. That Detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It would be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. But Morgana, that's using people for personal gain! God, I'm furious! What? You heard what Ketchy said, right? 
right? How dare he declare the Phantom Thieves are criminals? Ugh! As the administrator of the Phantom Aficionado website, I can't stay quiet about this. I'm gonna show Akechi how people online really feel. Uh, okay. I'll change up the survey question tomorrow morning. Justice is with the Phantom Thieves. Keep on doing what you do best. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Maybe because if the Phantom Thieves no longer exist, he runs out of a website to moderate. I don't know. I'm just trying to call my mate. This is the only confidant we're doing today. And hey, you know, I've been hearing Shibuya's getting more dangerous lately. I'm sure you pass by that area on your commute to school. But don't make too many detours, okay? Okay. Uh, <laughs> is the sale pitch over? Yeah. So, we'll be advancing her confidant tonight. Because we want to max this out ASAP. Thank you so much. Yay! I love you, master. <laughs> okay. I'll come over right away. God, this is embarrassing. Jesus hey. Christ. So, Master. Hmm. Huh. I want to provide more services for you. Uh, what are you getting at? I already paid you, lady. What? You can't get extra, dang it. Definitely not. I, I, I'm definitely not scheming anything. Meow. <laughs> I just want to get requested more. Okay. Can you get your hand off my... i really good at giving massages, meow. I'll massage you anywhere you like. My feet? Well, how was that? Uh, the thing is, I talked to my boss about picking up more shifts. But he said that he prioritizes younger women. Oh, how rude! How much younger does he want? The heck? You're in the prime of your life, right, Kawakami? Seriously, he didn't have to say it right to my face. Ugh. I mean, age has nothing to do with cleaning a room. Unless your back's starting to hurt. Uh. And I look darn good for my age. If I do say so for myself. The girls in my neighborhood always tell me I'm pretty. And the latchkey kid who lives next door always asks me to tie up her hair. Well, that proves it. That's just fact. Thanks to that, I'm an expert with these pigtails now. See? So I'm darn good for... Wait. Don't tell me. I'm the only one who thinks this way. <laughs> no, Master. definitely not. Master, would you please give me your honest opinion? Okay. I look pretty good as a maid. Don't I? Uh, well, at the end of the day, it's... It's your opinion that matters the most, right? Huh? Mm, I don't really feel like I'm worth being loved. Oh my god! That's so sad! But you're right. <laughs> uh, you go out of your way to request me, and all I do is sit here and vent to you. What the heck am I saying? You're my student. My double life as a teacher and a maid is so exhausting. Maybe I let my guard down because you know both sides of me. The more I come here, the more I feel like I can relax. As a maid, I'm supposed to help my master relax, but instead I'm the one who's being helped. Sorry. <laughs> I'm such a terrible maid. Yeah. You really are. But whatever, I don't give a crud. It's better than talking to Morka. <laughs> That sounds so mean, but it's how it truly feels. <laughs> Anyways, rank four. We're getting there, boys. Soon. We'll get the foot massage. Or whatever. Uh, so... I have to confess something. I lied about the reason why I need to make more money. <gasps> Gasp! I don't actually have a sick sister. All that stuff about the fees and charges was a lie, too. You're a bad teacher, Miss Kawakami. You're you're telling me lying is okay? How despicable. I can't get requested unless I make up those types of stories. That's not true. See, you understand now, right? Nothing good will come from involving yourself with a terrible person like me. I'm... It's a good lesson learned. 
Let's just put an end to this. But the massage, god dang it. Thank you for your service. <laughs> god dang. She's got problems. And then again, so do I. Look at this. Is it infected? Oh yeah, I don't have face cam. That's probably for the better. <laughs> Anyways. Kawakami's... It's a really bizarre and warped interpretation of the temperance arcana. But in a way, I like it. Even if the circumstances are completely ridiculous. Now, I'm sure technically that's happened to one person. Oh my god! My maid is my teacher?! Did you catch any of that student detective on television yesterday? The Phantom Thieves are super lame! <laughs> They're super lame? It was simply dreadful. Oh, how can anyone seriously suggest supernatural beings are stealing people's hearts? That's silly. That child is a phony. There's simply no way the Phantom Thieves exist. Oh. Well, I'm right here. Unfortunately, my precious children all think they're real and worse, that detective is amazing. Children are far too impressionable to see such vulgar content on TV. What the phrase just doing a quiz show. What? Looks like people still don't think we're real. But <laughs> I am. You are. But then again, do any of us really exist? Morgana, it's too early in the morning. Can you please so chill? I can't believe we were on TV yesterday with a catchy coon. It was like a dream come true. I can't believe a high schooler moonlights as a detective. He's just like the detective prince. Uh, he's smart and handsome. He's almost too perfect. <sighs> we had front row seats. I could practically reach out and touch a catchy coon. Oh, I, was, I was so nervous. He was really working that uniform without seeming like a snob. He's a natural at public speaking. I hear he's an orphan who grew up poor. It's part of what makes him so amazing. He wants his last high school memory to be capturing the Phantom Thieves. This isn't a game to him. Ooh. It says who? See, I heard his dad's the head of some big financial conglomerate. I will say I love how he hates the media. Makes me believe he doesn't do this for the fame. People say he's so good that he's made enemies in the police force. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, apparently yesterday's interview was so popular, they're airing it again tonight. Oh great. More catchy. I can't wait. Oh yeah, I don't have cable. Oh no, what will we do? Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then! If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with! Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, 
I couldn't do anything for her. There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've got to be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hot shot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. They were not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, An's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though. What are we going to do about him? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. I can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Hmm. Who are they? Hello! A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. Cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see.
see? It's only an attic. Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... On. On to Kamaki. Anton, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Sheesh. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Sweet girl. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it. Never gonna prove a Kenji wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So, how about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? What? <laughs> what my ass? You don't have any cash. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. All right, we're making dinner with our friends. I kind of like this. We're all teaming up to make something good. And a catchy guy seemed pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those words, though. Let's forget about him for now. Just focus on having fun. Come on, we need to prepare. Yeah. I ain't trying to eat words. I'm trying to eat chocolate. <laughs> like, seriously, Yusuke, you can have some if you want. <laughs> There's plenty of chocolate to go around. <laughs> Why doesn't he eat the chocolate he bought for An's parents? They're not even in Japan. Anywho, we gotta look for the pot. Maybe some stuff for the hot pot. Hmm. Hey. Ew. Are we gonna take any food out of there? You better pay up. I, I can't have it for free. 
Come on. But yeah. Maybe we should add some curry to the hot pot. Hmm. <laughs> no, you gotta talk to Sojiro to get it. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was An, right? She's a nice girl. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. God, this is just like cooking in my house. Hey, where's the big pot? No, the big pot! It's a cabinet full of kitchen supplies. There's a suitable pot in here. Eh. There's that thing. I know I have it. Oh my god, it could not have disappeared. This is me every time I try to cook anything fancy. We found a vessel. It should be big enough. Nice. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So, I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while, though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now... Yes? Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her. The quiet ones stay away. 
I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh... She apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cough him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. 
Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Hm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be alright with you as our leader. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer! What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. Han's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. That's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. Oh, please don't! Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Has targeted famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... Mm. Still... Freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Did we just see Ryuji's pee pee? That totally happened. He didn't even try to hide it. What the heck? I know we're, we're close and all as teammates, but dude. Too much. <laughs> Did something happen? Aren't you going to sleep yet? I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so 
This is luxurious in comparison. Sure, man, but no, something did happen, and I don't think I'll ever forget it, but man, I really like this specific day in the game. We get a real sense of camaraderie with the Phantom Thieves, and I don't know, just like having a moment where even people like On are, are we really doing the right thing? And we have to question ourselves and really deep dive and think about it. It's nice. There's a lot of understated things I like about this game, which you might not catch on your first run through of the game. But uh, yeah, that's all the time we got for today, guys. I know I didn't say a lot in this part, but don't worry. There will be more episodes coming soon. Anyways, see you guys next time. Bye.